I'm Dan, and this is episode 13 of Freaky. Now I'm a little superstitious, so I thought we could maybe call it episode 12B, or just skip a number and call it episode 14. But the boss said no. So while you're watching episode 13, maybe get out your lucky rabbit's foot, avoid any black cats, and do not walk under any ladders. Get off the road, you clown! I did not see that one coming. For me in New York, limited edition, only one in New Zealand. Hey, what about your milkshake? Same hoodie. Hey, where'd you get that hoodie?
Cool. One of the reasons I got this job is that something really freaky happened to me and a friend of mine a few months ago. See, there was this teacher. Well, you'll see what happens in the next story. The other reason I got this job is my good looks, of course. Great, episode 13 and I get seven years bad luck. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break the mirror. Listen to this. Most vampires avoid sunlight at all costs, but this doesn't stop some of them seeking new victims by taking on ordinary day jobs. Be alert, even in the daytime. Right, let's do a quick check now, eh? Any bloodsuckers in here? Yeah, yeah. Don't take any chances. Vampires are far more common than you think. And you were taking that thing way too seriously. But hey, if Dracula gets us, we could gain the size test. I want an A, Mrs. Ted. Give me an A, or I will suck your blood. Nos Ferratu, an ancient vampire from Romania. He drank the blood of hundreds of villagers. Gross. That's one seriously geeky dude. <laughs> yeah, it's a man with no hand. If you walked in right now, I reckon I could take him. Right, good morning, everybody. Quiet, please. Now, Mrs. Taylor's called in sick today, so you'll be having a relief teacher. Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you. I'll be on your best behaviour. It's his first day at our school, and I'd hate it to be his last. My name is Ross Ferratu. Now, let's look at this worksheet Mrs. Taylor left. Ross Ferratu? Ross Ferratu? Look! That is weird. Quiet, please! It is so bright in here. I think I will close those blinds a little. Any objections? Ferratu. Originally, I mean. What? Uh, Auckland? Uh, now, please, on with your work. Auckland? Isn't that rather close to, oh, I don't know, Romania? What is your name? Stephanie Wilkes. Is this yours? Maybe. This is science, Miss Wilkes, not superstition. And if you two can't be quiet, I will be forced to split you. You can split anything with those crazy teeth. That's it! I'll see you two after school. Perhaps then you can work better. But I've got soccer practice. And I have an ocean of time. I'll see you both in here after soccer. Now do your work! Come on, Buffy. Now what? Me? We'll think of something. It's all in the book. Stephanie, you might want to take the edge off that. It's looking just a little bit dangerous. Good. The sharper, the better. Water, 
cross. NSF fails. Oh, look, Sif, maybe he's just really anemic or something. And he saw your book. If it really is a blood sucker, he'll be ready for us. But so are we. Nice. Miss Filks, Mr. Keeper, follow me. If I never come out, tell my mum I want to be buried with my escape. Shh. Come on, let's go. All right. Take a seat and do your science worksheets for ten minutes. Then you may go. just because he looked different. And so, this ordinary teacher had crosses waved in his face. Water squirted at him. Someone even tried to attack me with a stick. Just because he was different. You know, I really thought this school would be a fresh start for me. I guess not. And not for ah, The book. Steve got it at a garage sale. Let this be a lesson for you. Never to jump to conclusions about people. People who are different have feelings too, you know. Sorry, Mr. Ferrari. Sorry. Apology accepted. Now, ten more minutes on your worksheets, then you may go. You know... It's a pity you haven't read up to page 306 in your textbook. Which textbook? I hate to see good science students perform the wrong test on a subject. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. I'm superstitious, right? And this is episode 13 of Freaky. And I've just been asked to carry 13 videotapes up to the 13th floor. I, I think I'll take the stairs. Wow, what a lucky guy. Wish I had one. But anyway, they've got this massive demo hooked up on a big TV upstairs. It's wicked. Awesome. How big is the screen? I'm not sure. Oh, what floor? Fifth, I think. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, boys, we're closing. Uh, yeah, just leave it. You'll need the down button then. Oh, yeah. Must have slipped. OK, 
Okay, thanks. We're leaving. Just as soon as we played the game upstairs. Actually, guys, I forgot. This elevator isn't working. You'll have to take the other elevator. Okay, thank you very much. Sweet. This won't take long. Are you sure? Remember the game show? Shut up. Is a two player? I think so. Great, we're stuck. No, we're not. Don't stress. Okay. Dom, mm. I feel claustrophobic. Cluster what? Fear of small spaces. Sick of this. What a 
else can we do? Nice know you, bro. Same. I should have taken the elevator up. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that's our show. I hope you enjoyed it. See you later. You know what? I'm going to overcome my superstition and I'm going to take the elevator back down. See ya. This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.